Hello, everybody. So today we are going to learn how to drive. Yes, we are in driving school. This is a very low level 33 track or test. And from here, we are able to get around very nice and easily. I really like this driving school in GT Sport. They really do teach you a lot. So if you're new to GT Sport, basically, before every level, they basically show you a video, like a quick 30-second video of what you should do on the track. And then you basically copy that, and then you learn how to get around different tracks for one. But for two, you are going around and you are learning how to, for example here, how to trail break. So essentially, when you're going around the corner, all you need to do is just take your foot off the gas, put it on the brake just lightly, and just kind of feather the brake going around the corner. As soon as you hit the apex right at the edge, you go and you hammer the gas, and then you finish with gold, just like I did right there. Now, going into from level 38, 39, now going into level 40, or 30. I messed up there, going from level 33 to 34, going into level 35. Um, again, every time you finish a level, you do get more money. And here, we are now learning the combinations. So, going from one combination into an another, you remember have to, you cannot be hammering it around the whole time. You need to feather the brake going around the corners, and then at the apex, you hammer the gas and you go through and finish with gold like we did right there. Now, I am not the most perfect driver ever, yet somehow I am getting gold. So, essentially, if if you're getting if you're not getting gold, you got to try a little bit harder. But if you're getting gold, you're all set. Uh, if you do finish with all gold, then from there, you basically get a better car at the end as a gift. Now, going around corners, going down the hill, you may need to make sure that you hit the brake before you turn, or else you're just going to have oversteer, and that is not going to be the most fantastic option for you to be able to go around that corner because you just will just slide off. And there we go with one more gold medal. Now, from there, we finished that just under, a good amount under, the actual goal that you have to get for gold. And these mileage points, there is a mileage exchange as well, which is really cool, so you can buy more stuff. Now from here we are learning how to go down the hill one more time around corners. However, this is now going to lead us into, um, whoa, look at my last shadow, <laughs> uh, basically combination moves going down the hill so you don't go like that ghost of a car. That was me the first time going around that corner. Yes, I died. Now that is one more gold for our pocketbook. Our goal is to get gold on every single one of these so that for one, we can have a fantastic car and for another, hey, we can just show off and say we got old gold. Now going into this level, basically this one, we are going to learn how to pit. So pitting in this game, is very interesting so they'll give you options on your tires but then it will just automatically fill your tank with gas now in this level and the future levels basically it's going to show you how much gas that you need to get around the final lap or a final laps later on from there when you come out of the pit you're not going to be in first place you need to catch up and from there, you're going to be catching up, but also those other cars will need to go into the pits as well. Now, when you're catching up, 
I personally suggest doing a lot of following of other cars. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's called drafting, what I'm doing right here. Drafting will, for one, save you some gas so that you can finish your laps if you're low on gas like I am here, but also to allow yourself to pass the opponent a lot more easier. Now, my question for the day is have you completed the driving school in GT Sport yet? If you have, hit the like button. If you haven't, comment below and let us know what level you are currently at. Because let, everyone thinks school is really, really boring. This is actually teaching you quite a bit. And believe me, the final level taught me a ridiculous ton about how to drive in this game. Basically, I run the Logitech G29 steering wheel. Link is in the description below if you want to grab one yourself. But from there, it is a fantastic steering wheel. It's got a whole bunch of buttons that actually do things in this game that I actually learned about in future levels. So I finished with a silver here, but I will get a gold in our next round. Hmm, I guess I didn't record myself in the gold race. That kind of sucks. Believe me, I did finish with all golds, but you will see that at the end anyways. Uh, from there, we are now in one of our final, final levels. I think this is level 41 for some reason it's not showing me here but basically in this one again they are going to be showing you uh, how to pit how to pit without losing gas or at least having enough gas to finish the laps now I have found out when I was pitting in myself that there is a little diamond of where you should fill up for the rest of the the laps also you will be finding out on the bottom it will tell you how many laps of gas you have or that you have left so watch this right at the bottom it shows distance to empty 0.9 laps so we are going to let that fill up we have two laps so we're going to go to for 2.4 so that we have just enough in case um there's any crashing or anything like that because I still kind of want to finish this race now this is obviously not an actual race this is just a training lap or training race so make sure to always always draft behind race cars because that will help your car to accelerate faster and win more races from there I hope everyone's having a fantastic 2018 so far this is now uh, the second day into 2018. Uh, from there, you can let us know in the comments how your first day and a half or two days or whatever, whenever you get to see this, your first couple of days into 2018 have been. Do you make videos yourself? If you do, put it in the comments below. Let us know if you make racing video game uh, videos or just the, any kind of videos at all if you do daily vlogs that kind of thing it's pretty cool to know who my audience is and also well it's kind of interesting to see how many people actually post videos there's so many videos being posted daily on YouTube that uh, I'm just kind of curious how many people of my audience actually post videos and we are on the final lap. We finished in first place, which means we got gold. Yes. And that will make us $20,000 in this game. I am totally making my money back from that Ford Raptor that I bought for fifty-five grand. Now, this is the final level, and this was insane. So, basically, uh, in this last level, level 43, we have basically just enough gas to get us just almost to the end of the race and 
right down in the bottom it says fuel map now if you drive the logitech g29 obviously i'm going to be making a video about this very soon about how to use all the different buttons however in the logitech g29 there is a plus minus button on the bottom but there is also a circular red little twisty thing at the bottom as well of the wheel basically the plus minus will swap you between different menus where it says in the bottom between the speedometer and the tachometer uh, where it says fuel map now that will go between fuel map and a few others now you just seen me switch from one to six that is more leaner gas essentially you're using less gas but that also that also destroys the speed of how fast your car really is so Going around corners in this section, I'm going level uh, level six, I'm a little bit more leaner, mainly because I'm not too worried about the cars in front of me. Their acceleration isn't the greatest while I am driving uh, a very a very fast car out of the acceleration. As you can see, I just passed that guy. So at the straightaway, I will swap over to number one so that I'm using more gas, yet you don't want to be using too much gas in this level because there's not much gas left in your car however if you swap over to number one like I think I did around here no I didn't but I was at number one at the beginning of the race where there was that big long stretch uh, basically that's where you want to be able to use it with a car that can accelerate around corners now here we slowed down However, I think I swapped ES over to number three and then back to number six just for a second so that I could have very good acceleration. Now, I will let you guys watch the last minute of this race. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Yes.